Yes, I'm here. Just test it. Can you speak a little? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody. Uh, let's uh, begin the program today. So uh, we are gathered here today to remember one of our very own, Professor C. R. Rao. He passed away on uh, 22nd of August uh, at roughly two weeks before he would have turned 104. And uh, so he would have completed 103 and he would have turned 204. That's correct. And uh, so uh, today we are uh, going to remember him and uh, we will celebrate his life. So I don't think this uh, audience here needs any introduction to uh, CRO, but of course, once I get the mic, I get the uh, temptation not to leave it till I actually did say something. So I will uh, do that. So Sierra was born on 10th of uh, September 1920 in a small village in Andhra Pradesh. 
and uh, he uh, was always a brilliant student. <coughs> Did his BSc in mathematics from Andhra, and then, as chance would have it, he landed in Kolkata, and again, as chance would have it, he landed in Indian Statistical Institute. So uh, then he was in the Indian Statistical Institute for the next 40 years and left for uh, USA only on in 1980 and uh, spent the rest of his life mostly in the US. And uh, of course, uh, 1980 to 1923 uh, is 43 years. And these 43 years, he remained almost as active as he was earlier. In fact, his uh, publications since his retirement from ISI is probably twice of what he, it was before that. Actually, yes. So the data says that uh, 201 papers uh, while he was in India and 274 papers after that. So not exactly twice, uh, but more than that, more than what he has written here. And he was actually active till he, in fact, turned 100. So uh, he had 51 PhD students and uh, so academic grandchildren would probably now uh, number more than 800. As far as ISI is concerned, of course, uh, I don't think uh, we need to say anything about it. Uh, he was the head of the RTAs, the director of the RTAs, the director of the institute, and so on and so forth. So basically second only to PCM himself. And uh, almost everything that we now see around in ISI, the, IS, the status that ISI enjoys worldwide is uh, partly also not only due to PCM, but also largely due to CRO. Well, I think I will simply uh, just mention a few of the awards and honors that he had received. He was probably one of the first batch of uh, people to be awarded the Bhatnagar Award. Then he, that was in 1963, he got the Padma Sri, I don't have the year, for the Pushan in 68, for the Vibhushan in 2001. And then um, he was awarded uh, the Guy Medal from the Okay, he also got the, the India Science Award in 2014. And uh, in the US, he got uh, the National Medal of Science in 2002 from uh, President George Bush, which was the highest award in the scientific field. And uh, the citation says, it, it refers to him as, as a prophet of the new age with the citation, for his pioneering contribution to the foundation of statistical theory and manipulated statistical methodology and their application, enriching the physical, biological, mathematical, economic, and engineering sciences. The American Statistical Association describes him as a living agent whose work has influenced not just statistics, but has had far-reaching implications for as varied as economics, genetics, anthropology, geology, national planning, demography, biometry, and medicine. Times of India listed him as one of the top 10 scientists of all time. And with that brief introduction, I think uh, we can now uh, move on to a 
presentation from our uh, reprography division on a, basically a photographic tribute from the reprography. Thank you. On the 22nd of August, 2023, the world bid farewell to a true luminary. In the fields of mathematics and statistics, Dr. Kalyanpuri Radhakrishna Rao, fondly known as C.R. Rao. His contributions have left an indelible mark on the realms of academia and research, particularly through his remarkable association with the Indian Statistical Institute. Born on September 10, 1920, in a village of Karnataka, Dr. Rao's journey began in a humble city. Little did the world know that this young mind would go on to revolutionize the fields of mathematics and statistics. Dr. C.R. Rao came to ISI in 1941 for training for a year, lived halfway through for a master's degree in statistics at Calcutta University, and then rejoined ISI in 1943 as a research scholar. He went on to pursue his PhD degree at the University of Cambridge. Where he worked under the guidance of the Indian statistician Sir Roman A. Fisher. Later, he came up to Alzai as a professor at a young age of 20. Dr. Rao's connection with the Indian Statistical Institute was not the short of the thought. His arrival at Alzai marked a turning point. He joined Alzai in 1948 and served as the director from 1972 to 1976. His vision and passion were instrumental in the transformation of the institute into a hub of statistical research and education. Dr. Rao worked in Alzai for 40 years before he retired at the age of 60. His leadership was instrumental in shaping eyesight academic excellence and research prominence. While his academic degrees already speak volumes, Sia Rao was also a man who put knowledge to place and application. The research contributions of Dr. C. R. Rao along with those of Professor P. C. Mahanand and others have placed India and the Indian Statistical Institute firmly on the world map of statistics. Dean Rao was not only a brilliant mathematician, but also an exceptional teacher and mentor. Rao's mentorship extended beyond the classroom, as he mentored numerous students and researchers who would go on to make significant contributions themselves. He encouraged his students to think beyond boundaries and explore new horizons. The information inequality proved by Dr. Rao is used by engineers, physicists, economists, and scientists of many other disciplines as a theoretical limit 
on the performance of an intimator. Another marvelous gift from Dr. Rao Yi proceeds of improving an unbiased exhibitor with the help of a summary of the data called sufficient statistics through a process called Rao Black Realization. His early work gave rise to an entire discipline called information geometry. Even if this contribution had set aside, Dr. Rao would still be remembered for his contributions to orthogonal arrays in experimental design. His research papers and books remain foundational in the fields of mathematics and statistics, influencing generations of scholars worldwide. Was recognized numerous awards, including the Guy Medal, Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan, and the International Prize in Statistics. His lifetime achievements serve as an inspiration to generations. Beyond his academic achievements, Dr. Rao Suwami endeared him to all. He was known as an engaging student of politics with genuine interest, naturally, an environment of intellectual curiosity. Rao's legacy leads on to the corridors of the Indian Statistical Institute. His legacy continues to inspire researchers to push the boundaries of knowledge and make impactful contributions to society. As we remember the life and works of Dr. Sita Ram, we are reminded of his profound influence on the world of mathematics, statistics, and beyond. His journey is a beacon of light for aspiring mathematicians and statisticians, and his contributions continue to shape the speeds of generations to come. A true visionary, a brilliant mind, and an inspiration to all. Dr. Rao's contributions to mathematics, statistics, and education will forever shine brightly. Rest in peace, Dr. Rao. Continue. Uh, may I now uh, request our director to uh, say a few words? It's again uh, a very unpleasant duty uh, to be standing here speaking again uh, at a con condolence meeting. But of course, people will go away. But as I think somebody said, maybe for the today, let us celebrate the life of Sierra Rao, a life well lived, a life worth emulating. Besides his uh, seminal contributions to the area of statistics, as a person, a very humble and family man, I, would, I should say, that is what I got to learn from many sources. I was also uh, a little curious to 
you know, get a little more detailed information about this, his dates in ISI, his years in ISI. He actually joined uh, ISI as, as an employee, as a technical uh, uh, apprentice in 1943, after he completed MSTAT uh, with first class first uh, from Calcutta University. 1948, he married Bhargavi Rao, uh, who herself uh, later on became a professor of psychology at Jadavpur University. Uh, professor Rao's uh, PhD in 1948 from the University of Cambridge uh, was for a thesis titled Statistical Problems of Biological Classification. So he was working in all these applied areas for quite a long time. He became the professor and head of the Division of Theoretical Research and Training in 1960. 64, he became the director of the Research and Training School, RTS. When he had joined in 1953, uh, sorry, 1943 as a technical apprentice, his pay was rupees 75. In 64, when he became director of RTS, it was with a pay of 2,500 rupees. 72 to, 72 to 76, he was the director and secretary of ISI. Uh, he was born in 1920, uh, September 10, September 1920. So he would have naturally uh, retired, superannuated in September 1980 at the age of 60. But before that, he was appointed the Jawaharlal Nehru professor, which had a tenure of five years. So the records show that uh, his letter of superannuation was not uh, issued. He finally retired because his Jawaharlal Nehru professorship got extended, and he finally retired in 1984. Uh, his life is, of course, full of activities, full of theoretical and applied results, and also full of acknowledgments of appreciation of the various awards that he received. 1951, he was elected member of International Statistical Institute. 53, he became the fellow of INSA. Uh, several other medals. 1963, in particular, he got the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize, and he donated his entire prize money to the Prime Minister's National Defense Fund. That is what the records are telling us. 1967, he was elected the Fellow of the Royal Society. 68, he was awarded the Padma Bhushan. 72, he was elected Fellow of American Statistical Association. 74, he was elected Fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences. 1995, member of National Academy of Sciences USA. 2001, National Medal of Science. 2001 or 2002, I think uh, the mentioned 2002. 2023, of course, very recently we know of that. Uh, all of us celebrated at the International Prize in Statistics. And for 44 years, he was the chairman of the International Statistical Education Center, which is uh, an associate institute of ISI and whose uh, convocation we just held uh, from 4 to 5 p.m. this uh, evening. So, Professor Rao, uh, phenomenal uh, activity, phenomenal energy. In 2015, he wrote me an email on his own after learning of uh, my selection as the director of the institute. And he writes, after congratulate, congratulating me, he writes, I'm, uh, recently, so that is at the age of 95, on April 29, 2015. He's writing, recently I edited a handbook on R in collaboration with N.B. Rao, and currently I am editing a handbook on big data in collaboration with two other experts. I worked in ISI for about 40 years, 30 years under the direction of Professor Mohalanobis. Currently I'm in Buffalo undergoing treatment for a minor heart problem. So at the age of 95, a person uh, is getting into big data, is, uh, right, is talking about art. At that time itself, it was very inspiring. It remains inspiring to this day. And therefore, rather than being sad, let us celebrate today. And in our, by our own lives, the energy of this person, 
the good luck for life, I would say. His love for life is something worth emulating, and his dedication to his craft, to his discipline. Let us take lessons from there, let us be inspired, and let us try to bring the name of the Institute still, uh, still uh, higher up. Uh, Mohanlubish and Mah Sia Rao, these two people, entire world, wherever I have gone, within the discipline and outside the discipline, many, many people, they, uh, they acknowledge the contributions. Of course, within the discipline, everybody knows, but it's very important when people know you outside the discipline. And these two people I have, in many different fora that I have spoken on, uh, there is a confusion. Uh, because not uh, outsiders, not many know that Malinov is, is an Indian, is a Bengali, is the founder of the Indian Statistical Institute. So Malinov is result and C.R. Rao's result, which came first, which came later. Uh, there's a lot of confusion. So people do talk about, uh, discuss these things with, uh, at least with me, they have discussed. I'm sure with many of you, these discussions have happened. So the name of the Institute goes out uh, along with these people, their contributions, and I hope, uh, I repeat that, uh, let us take lessons, let us be inspired by their lives, and let us do uh, whatever we are doing in our own disciplines, let us work with full commitment and dedication. Thank you very much. Next, uh, let me uh, call upon the ISI Alumni Association President, Professor S.M. Srivastava, to come on stage. Thank you. This is a very sad occasion, uh, no doubt. Uh, I'm here in, uh, uh, in two capacities. One is, of course, uh, I'm representing, I'm, pay, I'm here to pay homage to Professor Dr. Rao, actually, we call him Dr. Rao, always uh, uh, on behalf of uh, ISA Alumni Association. And also, I was a student here for a pretty long time. And <clears throat> I joined the uh, ISI in uh, 1971. By that time, Dr. Rao had already moved the uh, uh, to Delhi. <clears throat> he had moved to Delhi. Uh, we used to hear uh, about him a lot. And uh, uh, I think uh, it is no exaggeration to say that uh, one of the most important book and most well weighed book for the students in those days was in short what was called LSI, Linear Statistical Inference. And I still remember uh, enjoying reading that book, Matrix Theory in the beginning. I loved problems on order statistics. I also remember the uh, development of uh, multivariate analysis, uh, <coughs> particularly multivariate normal distribution, very strange definition. X1, X2, Xn is multivariate normal if all its linear combinations uh, are univariate normal. So everything falls as a direct, you know, just mathematically. Uh, <clears throat> now, first time when I saw, and as a student, well, he was most impressive to me when I saw him as a student. Completely unassuming, most often in a chapel, and cutting jokes with the students. Hmm. Very, very free. He will just uh, tap on the back of each student and because he was not in Delhi, he was not in Calcutta and he will inquire and have uh, jokes and it was simply unbelievable for me that a person of this stature and the highest authority of this institute is mixing a student's like a friend. And uh, this is something that uh, I have uh, always admired his simplicity. He used to have a lot of pranks. I will not narrate all of them. Uh, <clears throat> even with the students, he used to have pranks. And uh, among the students, girls were more favorite than boys. <laughs> that also. 
Anyway, I don't have a, I, I have moved away from the statistics. No longer I have confidence to speak on the work. Uh, one of the things that uh, uh, I would say that, uh, you know, the in ISI at one time point, uh, ISI was not one. Mahalnovich, I don't know the full history. Research and training school was built. This was the main uh, <coughs> research uh, uh, group uh, on uh, uh, fundamental research, and there was another ISI. And why there were two different I, I mean, I'm saying there are two different I because our laws were different. For RTS, there were no holidays. Three mandatory national holidays, 26th January, 15th August, 2nd October. And during those times, I, uh, when I joined, still it was RTS, new constitution at Hotka. And when I joined uh, at that time in Calcutta, public uh, transport will be suspended on holy day, the day it was holy for first half. And from second half again, classes will take place. We used to come, we had no holidays, very different and absolutely I mean, we missed uh, Dr. Rao a lot. I missed Dr. Rao a lot. But later on, several times he came to Staten Island where I belonged and we had a long chat. And uh, undoubtedly, he was one of the greatest that I have ever seen in statistics. Mahalnovich, I have not seen much. But uh, Dr. Rao gave me uh, two various seminars that he was the top most statistician without any doubt. So with these words, I don't have, uh, I'm told I don't have much time given, and I pay my homage to Professor Rao, both as a former student of this institute, as well as as the chairman of ISI Alumni Association. <clears throat> Well, uh, most of the next few speakers are basically joining us online. And uh, I will begin with uh, Dr. Teja Rao or Tejushini Rao, daughter of Sia Rao, as our first speaker online. Namaste. Um, on behalf of my brother, Veera, myself, and our entire family, I would like to thank uh, Professor Sangamitra Bandapadhyay and ISI for having this meeting in memory of my father. ISI was always daddy's home. The fundamental work that he did, for which he's recognized as one of the founders of modern statistics, was done in Calcutta. I grew up on the campus of ISI, and I'll always treasure the memories of, uh, that I have of ISI and Calcutta. It will always be our home. So this means a lot to our family. You know, we were very fortunate that my father moved here. Uh, of the age of 60, and we were able to get to know him on a more personal level. I think as long as he was in India, he was always so busy that uh, we didn't see too much of him. So I'm, we're both, our family's blessed that he was here and we got a chance to get to know him uh, a better. I mean, people know him as the statistician he is. And I think, uh, a lot of his students and colleagues got to know him as a person. <laughs> I was fortunate that the last 14 years he was with me and I learned so much, so much from him. He's not someone who would talk to you and tell you things about life, but in his own gentle way by his actions, I realized what a sensitive, caring uh, person he really is so concerned about everyone around him and uh, 
his curiosity, his observation. And uh, I think his students know that uh, even if you're doing something behind your back, he knows he knows about it. And uh, it was just amazing. His interest was tremendous. I mean, till a week before he passed, he still spent two hours reading the newspaper top to bottom. And he would underline lines that he felt I had to read and he'd place it when I came down. And every morning I'd run down to say hello to him and he'd say, good morning, okay. And that was the end of the conversation in his usual style. And his interest right from the news to tennis to gardening and of course photography um, was amazing. Just a very conducted himself in such a dignified manner, gentle. And of course, he adored his students. I mean, they were his pride. His students were his pride. And it was lovely to see him give us little tidbits. He didn't talk that much, but, you know, occasionally little tidbits of experiences he's had with his colleagues and students. And, and of course, his sense of humor, even three days before his past, he had his little naughty little things he would say, which was so adorable. I, I would like to share, um, he was totally fine just the last one month. I think he was too weak to get up and walk. So he was pretty much in bed, but he never, ever, ever complained. When he couldn't walk anymore, he stayed in bed. When he couldn't go to the computer, he never said anything. And all these years he stayed with me, never once a complaint or a demand or if I had to go out, he'd say, okay, have fun, good luck. And that was it. I mean, it was just amazing. And fortunately, he remained healthy with no pain. Just the last one week was a little tough and uh, he slept most of the time. And the day he passed, uh, he wasn't able to talk. He was trying to say something, but he saw all of us, pointed to all of us, held our hand, and we knew that the end was near. The only person who was not with him, my brother, his wife, uh, my younger nephew, my husband, we were all around him, but my older nephew, Amar, had not yet come. So we told him, he told him that he was coming that evening, and my brother, father was breathing very, very heavily. My older nephew came, held his hand and said, I'm here, Grandpa. And almost in five minutes, we saw his breath slowly slow down. We cheered him just about a minute before he passed. And uh, in front of our eyes, his breath went softer, softer, softer till he passed. But it was the most amazing experience for our family because he passed with such dignity, such gentleness, which was him. So in passing the way he did, he gave us such a beautiful gift. And at the, it's funny, at that moment, we didn't feel sad, but we just looked at him in awe, saying, this is what you are. And... Of course, we'll always miss him. But you, I think what's beautiful is all the lovely, lovely, lovely memories he's left behind as a father to us and as a grandfather. And now he has a great grandson, Kai, who was with him right till the funeral, waved at him and reached out to him. So just as he was a beautiful man till the end, he was just beautiful. And uh, it's for me, it's lovely to see all of you and uh, you know how much he cared and loved you all. You're all special to him. So thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to share our father with all of you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. On behalf of my brother and me. Thank you. Yeah, that was amazing. But we continue. So, uh, as we have already heard, uh, Tiarao had 51 uh, students who did PhD under his supervision. And uh, we have tried to contact some of them. And uh, we have succeeded in some cases, in some cases we did not. So uh, let's begin with uh, one of the most notable names here, Professor Kesaris Varathan. Are you here? Maybe if he is not here yet, he said you join, but if he is not here yet, okay. just check uh, whether he has he's been un unmuted. Yeah. Professor Varadhan. No. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Well, I known Dr. Rao for over 60 years. As an undergraduate, his book, Advanced Statistical Methods in Biometric Research, was the only reasonable book in statistics available to us. And that's what we read. None of the other texts were available at that time. And I was a research scholar at RTS for three years. And then I was a staff member for a year before going to the US. See, I was my advisor. Our interest did not overlap that much. I was more interested in probability, mathematical aspects, and I was working with Park ARP and Rangara. But he was very much interested in what we were doing and would periodically stop by in our office and ask us to explain what we were doing his interest and ability to grasp it was just phenomenal. Even after moving to US, we always kept in touch. I visited him in Kolkata, in Delhi, in Pittsburgh, in College Station, and finally in Buffalo. More than an advisor and mentor, he was a role model who remained creative and active till the very end. He was also a man of a great sense of humor. I remember one story he said, which uh, I to recall. It was a period where governments were interested in supporting applied subjects and didn't want to support pure mathematics, and, and he was against that. So he used to tell the story of how Isaac Newton once applied to the grant for his research. And the committee appointed by whoever was the king at that time met and there were several members and only one of them supported Newton's grant. The reason he said he, had, he was growing apples and the apple used to fall down from the tree and got damaged. So he wanted somebody who could do something with gravity so the apples don't fall. <laughs> I forgot such a laugh out of that story. He was great. We will all miss him. Thank you. Thank you, Professor uh, Radhan. Next, I will be uh, requesting uh, Professor B.L.S. Prakash Rao to 
say a few words. Is he there? Un Unmute him. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Yeah. Friends, we have assembled today to pay our homage and respect to the great statistician, Professor C. R. Rao, who passed away on August 22nd, 2023 in USA. We cannot separate the subject, statistics, and the person, Professor C. R. Rao, as that was his life. I wrote an article recently on June 29, 2023, about Dr. Rao, as, as he was popularly known at ISI. This is in the context of the International Statistics Prize, which he was awarded. I will read some ex excerpts of that article to pay my homage. I'm not speaking about his contributions to the subject of statistics, especially for the present gathering from ISI. However, and Dr. Teja Rao and her brother recently mentioned in one, one of his own thing, Professor Rao was known as a foundational figure in modern statistics and left his mark in the field beginning his research at a time when statistics was still developing and not acknowledged as a distinct discipline, Rao was instrumental in shaping it into the science we recognize today. So that essentially encapsulates ca all his contributions. Together, um, Mahalan Nobis, Halden, and Professor Rao started the BSTAD and MSTAD programs at ISI. And it so happened I was the, in the first batch of MSTAT students of the Institute. He was head of the research and training school of ISI, later its director. Rao himself participated in teaching some of our courses at the Institute. He was a strict disciplinarian when it comes to academic activities. He, was, he, he awarded students with a raise in their stipend if, they, if the students performed well, but was ready to cut the stipend if the student does not perform well as per the institute norms. I was a student of Professor Rao during my master's program in statistics at Indian Statistical Institute and later his colleague at the Delhi Center of the Indian Statistical Institute. I saw him for the first time in 1960 as a young student aged 17 years after a complete master's at Andhra University in 1960. He was awe-inspiring with his international reputation by then for all students of ISI. Professor Rao did his, of course, all of you know, his MA in mathematics from the Andhra University to before he went to Calcutta under uh, Professor Ram, uh, Omi, Omi Ramaswamy was the head of the department at the Andhra University. With, for him as well as for me when I was a student. Rao received several awards, including the Bhatnagar Award and India Science Award from the Government of India, the National Medal of Science in USA, and several other awards, which I will not be mentioning here. He spent 40 years of his prime life at the Indian Statistical Institute and spent another 40 years in USA. Rao was in a regular touch with activities of the C.R. Rao Advanced Institute of Mathematics, Statistics, and Computer Science. In so I am presently attached to that institute as INSA honorary scientist. Professor Rao was among the worldwide leaders in statistical science over the last several decades. Government of India has honored him with Padma Vibhushan a few years ago. He passed away before celebrating his 103rd birthday on September 10, 2023. For his distinctive contributions on the subject of statistics for the last several years, with applications should, wherever data is involved, the country should have honored him with Bharat Ratna, but they did not. India lost a jewel and world lost a great statistician. So this is uh, my homage to Professor Rao as his student and as his colleague over the years. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Rao. Uh, next, I will be uh, requesting uh, 
Professor K. B. Sidha uh, to speak. Now there. Okay, then we uh, move on to. The next speaker, Professor S. B. Rao, he is there. I can see him. So, Professor S. B. Rao, you just uh, unmute him. He is there. No, I cannot. We cannot hear him. Yes, we, we cannot hear you. Uh, are you muted there, or I think you are muted. You should be unmuted now. Hello? Yes, yes, now we can hear you, yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah, now we can hear you. We can. I am very much grieved to learn the sudden demise of the one of the leading statisticians and mathematician, Professor C. R. Rao. I joined the Indian Statistical Institute in 1965 when he was the director of the RTS and worked under his supervision for my PhD in combinatorics. I used to stay in the campus and we used to witness Professor Rao and Mrs. Rao taking long walks in the campus. And as research scholars, there is a novel way of meeting him. He used to meet us when they were taking rounds around the pond and the word uh, that is pondering. And he used to listen to us, our queries, and suggest various means and ways how to tackle those problems and come again after a day or two the solutions. Before coming to the Indian Statistical Institute, I heard from my parent department, which happens to be that of uh, Professor Rao, that he got master's degree in mathematics in 1940, joined the Indian Statistical Institute in 1941, and master's in statistics in 1943 from Calcutta University. And in a couple of years, he made the path-breaking research 
and published the paper, which is Breakthrough in Statistics. And they were wondering how in two years after studying statistics, he was able to contribute so much. That says about the creativity, maturity of Professor Rao in these fields. He also did applied research in several areas and contributed a lot for the growth and development of the Indian Statistical Institute. I would like to mention here that in, although had lucrative offers from abroad, he never accepted them before his mandatory retirement to go abroad, except for a few months to learn new, new things and tell the students, this is scholars and the faculty about the developments in these and related and other subjects. It's a great pleasure to work under his supervision. And although he has contributed excellently to many areas and so on, as a person, he was so humble, soft-spoken, never got angry with uh, any of us. And is a source of happiness for us to work with him and with their family and so on. As mentioned by Professor Bela Prakash Rao, the, the government of India should recognize the, the contributions, path-breaking contributions of Professor Rao and award him the highest honor, Bharat Ratna, at the earliest, which can be done posthumously also, I had. He was always willing to learn things. So he said that life is an endless process of self-discovery and one has to update the knowledge, which is a perishable commodity now and then. We miss him and the statistics, International Statistics Prize is an apt one, which they have contributed. And he was happy, happier with this award also like many other awards. Even during last few years, although his wealth was not up to the mark, he contributed a lot to the handbook of statistics. And in the last five years, they have published I edited 10 volumes of this handbook of statistics, including the big data and information geometry and statistics and geometry and so on. I'm, I, from my bottom of my heart, I wish rest of peace, but is and also my condolences to the bereaved family. Especially, he had a plethora of interests, including music, dance, photography, and so on, which is evident the way they encouraged uh, Dr. Tejaswini Rao to learn these Haratanatyam and Kuchibudi, who became an exponent in these in these types of music. May his soul 
that's ten weeks. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ekliao. And uh, do I now have uh, KB Sinha uh, in the audience? No? Okay, uh, so uh, let's move on. I will uh, now call upon uh, Professor T.J. Rao. I can see him, so Professor T.J. Rao to speak. Just unmute him and so that he can speak. Yes, TJ, you are unmuted. So you hear can... me? Yeah. Okay. We can hear you. Thank you. Uh, which apologies to my friends who have already heard from me the following anecdote. I would like to repeat it once more to the new audience here. About seven decades ago, a passenger traveling to Calcutta by the Madras Howrah Mail was asked what he did for a living. Feeling that an accurate reply would not be understood, he seems to have replied, I work in a school and I'm the headmaster of the school. The school he referred to is the famous research and training school, RTS, and the unassuming simple passenger was none other than the legend Professor C. R. Rao, Dr. Rao for all of us, who was indeed the head of the school for almost about a quarter of a century, whom we are remembering today. My first introduction to Dr. Rao is as follows. We were sitting in 3.0 exactly six decades back on the 10th August of uh, 1963, our first day in ISI, and uh, in the afternoon practical class, the teacher gave us some exercise to use the facet machine and he left by the front doors. Room number 3.0 at, at that time had two doors, one in the back and one in the front. We were all uh, working out on the facet computers. And uh, after about 15 minutes, one gentleman entered through the back door and then came to the front. He stood all before all of us near the blackboard and asked one of our friends, what's your name? He mentioned his name. Then I asked him, what are you learning today? He said, uh, the subject of the matter is not very clear to me, sir. Then uh, he said, okay. And then he asked another person, what's your name? He said, my name is Prabhakar Babu. He was a bit annoyed on listening from the audience, a Babu attached to the name. He said, who made you Babu? Then he said, my parents, sir. Then immediately Dr. Rao recognized the Telugu name like Jogesh Babu or Jagapati Babu and so on. And uh, he just smiled. And then he said, uh, okay, what are you doing today? And he called one of us to the blackboard and uh, we started lecturing. Then he just walks to the board. It's a board with dust. dust. There are no dustless chucks at that time. There's already white coating there with the dust, chalk dust. Then he writes with the finger, why? A theta, sigma square i. At that time, there is no uh, uh, x beta at the sigma square. <laughs> Therefore, uh, he started the lecture and uh, he just used to ask us questions and do everything on the board. So without uh, writing down the expressions, made us do the whole thing. That was the best way of understanding things because you learn a lot. He, he used to follow he, our common professor Myself, Prakash, Prakash Rao, and all of us, Professor Omi Ramaswamy of Adara University, to make the students understand by letting them talk and then listen to what they say. And then uh, after my PhD, which I completed in 67, he asked me to look up the dean's office. And he made me a faculty member at that time. He gave me a role number also. In 1968, I got an appointment at the University of Manchester. He granted me Liam. And whenever I asked for extension, he used to say gladly, TJ Rao, continue for another year. Your leave is granted. So I used to repeat this whenever I used to come back, join again. And then off I go and again join again. So retired in 2005 and continued as an honorary professor till 2007. 
and then came and settled in Vishakapatnam. Then suddenly I get a call from Dr. Rao, who is now the just opened the Sierra Institute, which is a small room in the guest house of University of Hyderabad. So when I went there, he also got me a teaching position in the Department of Statistics because I would then get accommodation in the university visiting scientist room. Then uh, we worked together during his winter visits, that is 2009 to 2019, with a lot of uh, cooperation and all that, discussing many problems, including the construction of the new building and so on. And one of the main things which I wanted to point out is his concept of Statistics Olympiad, which never existed before in the world. So the Statistics Olympiad, we started for the first time in 2009. It was appreciated very much by the Royal Statistical Society as well. And the questions are so set to pick up students from classes 9, 10, 11, 12, so that they will get inclination towards taking up statistics as their career. So later on, we continued this till 2019. And I was in touch with him with respect to various uh, aspects of uh, editorial and other things. And uh, recently, I must say that he has got influence on all the people around, like sampling theory, official statistics, financial statistics, just quote a few. Now, you must have also heard a lot about his applications, Kramer Rao equality, Kramer Rao lower bound, and Rao black equalization. One of the, you all know the statistical and mathematical aspects of Rao black equalization. One of the things that trouble was applied to is for the for the basketball ratings. There was a paper in one of the journals in sports statistics, which talks about how to apply black equalization to the to the ranking, and it just alters the regular ranking which the media quotes. So that was an application. And uh, another thing I would like to add is what is known as raw black well in WhatsApp. So even WhatsApp, one can use raw black validation, and that is again being under consideration. Now, uh, my wife and I offer our condolences to Tejasini Garu and Veera Garu and the family. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you, Veera. Uh, I think... Uh... KB Sinha is still not there. So maybe I will uh, move on. Next, uh, our ISI president and our ex director, uh, Professor Shankar Pal, uh, said that he would not be able to join this group in the meeting today, but he has sent a message. And I would request Priyanka to uh, read out that message to us. Thank you. So, some remembrances and messages from Professor Shankar Kumar Pal, former director, current president of Indian Statistical Institute. It was really a shocking news to me. Knowing all the way from Cambridge, England, the demise of Professor C.R. Rao, initially through a Facebook message, though we knew C.R. Rao was 103 years old. He was the secretary and director of our RAI side during July 1972 to June 1976. More importantly, he was a big drawing of statistics and mathematics and inspiration to many of us as a mentor. I first met him in person in ISI Calcutta sometime in 1983, after my return from Imperial College London. He was one of my well-wishers. His curiosity in knowing new subjects outside statistics and mathematics impressed me always, among his many other qualities. I fondly remember whenever he was involved in organizing any special session in a conference related to computer science or any edited book proposal, I was invited to participate. He often mentioned in his meetings that he liked the kind of work that I was doing integrating statistics, rough sets, and image processing. In fact, in one of the council meetings of his CRO Advanced Institute of Mathematics, Statistics, and Computer Science, which is now known as AIMSCS at Hyderabad, 
where I was present on the occasion of foundation stone laying ceremony of AIM SES, he mentioned in a reply to a query of a member that he wanted to have a similar kind of interdisciplinary research carried out at AIM SES. He used to share often many of his personal feelings about ISI and India whenever we met since late 80s, particularly sensitive issues like why he left ISI at 60 and went to USA to settle, his relation with PCM and the attitude of ISI workers as shown to him whenever he pays his visits to ISI, be in Delhi or in Calcutta. Whenever he visited Calcutta, he used to come to all, he used to come always to my office to know what research my group and me were doing. I was fortunate to have in have been invited once by him to deliver a talk on neurofuzzy computing in his statistics department at Penn State University, Pennsylvania, USA, sometime in early 2000s, followed by a dinner with Triggs at his residence there. During my tenure as director of ISI, I invited him to different cam ISI campuses, example, the Hyderabad campus and the Chennai Center besides Kakata. In Hyderabad campus of ISI, the bust of PCM was unveiled by him. During the Platinum Jubilee inaugural ceremony on 24 December 2006, CRR, along with other ISI former directors, was felicitated by ISI in Amrapali Bhavan. He was the key speaker in validatory program of our year-long Platinum Jubilee celebration. Often he mentioned to me during gossip that Bengali people somehow like me wherever I go. When I was uh, felicitated at ISI for Padmashri Award sometime in March 2013, he mentioned in his speech that ISI got a Padma Award after 45 years since 1968 when Professor PCM and Professor CRR received Padma Vibhushan and Padma Bhushan respectively. I was happy to know that I was not only the third Padma Awardee of ISI, but also made the inactive Padma account of ISI active after 45 years. Now happy to see that the list is getting extended. There are many such memorable incidences with him that touched me. Personally, I have always viewed CRR as PCM, the founder of ISI, whom I had no opportunity to see. The death of CRR is no doubt a big loss to the scientific community all over the world, more specifically to ISI fraternity. Professor CRR will be remembered internationally, particularly by ISI fraternity and Bengali scientific community forever. My deep condolences to his bereaved family members and near ones. May his departed role rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Priyanka. So we uh, call on our next speaker, Professor T. Krishna Kumar. Is he there? Hello? Yes. Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to in person convey our family's condolences to Teja and uh, Veera and their families. Uh, it has, I have been uh, a student of uh, Rao lifelong, and I started my course before MSTAT, 5961 batch, and um, he was the class teacher, more or less, taught everything um, in the statistics. And uh, as Professor Sivasta was mentioning some time back, uh, my first remembrance is uh, when I was uh, a student during the first week or so, I was standing in front of the uh, notice board and uh, reading what is there in the notice board and uh, I saw a pat on my back I look back and uh, it was Dr. Rao asking uh, what is news in the new notice board and I was stunned I was surprised that is the kind of um, teacher he was uh, he was a friend and then one thing I would like to mention here is being uh, an econometrician uh, Dr. Rao, when uh, he wrote his uh, MA thesis, 
one of the problems he tackled was on characterization of distributions. And that particular problem was originally posed by the founder of econometrics, Ragnar Frisch. And uh, the problem really was foundational for econometrics for what are called uh, models with the errors and variables. Unfortunately, econometrics took a different turn and uh, errors in variables is not followed. But uh, if Professor Rao's work was known among econometricians at that time, widely, uh, the course of econometrics would have changed. Even otherwise, uh, for his work, he was recognized by the Econometric Society in 1972. He was made a fellow of the Econometric Society. In fact, most of the Nobel laureates in economics first received uh, the uh, fellowship of the Econometric Society before they got a Nobel Prize. And in 1973, there was a book written by Thomas Rothenberg in econometrics, where he recast everything, econometric theory and econometric methods centered around um, Rao Kremer inequality. And uh, that way, most of econometric theory and methods are centered around Dr. Rao's contributions. And similarly, Dr. Rao's um, score test is very widely used in model selection and uh, several other instances. So his contributions to econometrics are immense. I should tell a little story about this. When I completed my course, I was a research scholar at the planning unit. And then uh, he asked me, what are you doing here still? We expect you to go to USA and get a PhD. I said, I, have, I don't have uh, a letter of recommendation from an econometrician. Then he said he would give it. I said, uh, but Dr. Rao, you are a statistician and not an econometrician. It was at that time, he asked me to go to the library to see a paper he wrote in Econometrica. And uh, that is the same paper where he addressed the question posed by Ragnar Frisch. And he did write a letter of reference for me. And uh, I did my PhD in USA because of uh, his letter. I'm very grateful to him for my entire professional career. And um, again, after several years, I came in contact with him when I was at University of Hyderabad. That was the time when um, Professor uh, Prakash Rao um, was um, offered the Radhakrishnan Chair in Statistics at University of Hyderabad. Around that time, he was talking about uh, the C CR Rao Institute in Hyderabad, and he had problems with uh, the Usmania University uh, location for the institute. And uh, because of my association with University of Hyderabad, I suggested to Dr. Rao to consider Central University as a location for the CR Rao Institute. And he pursued it and uh, finally, it came up there and um, also um, he gave me some clues to write a vision and mission statement for Sierra Institute and also prepare a budget which were used in order to get some funding from here and there. And uh, I had seen him at the almost at the age of 90, how he worked for that institute and it was really his uh, vision that uh, those three disciplines, mathematics, statistics, and computer science, get integrated and developed with applications in various sciences. In fact, he brought my attention to how it is used in physics, uh, how it is used in engineering, and so many subjects he mentioned to me. And it is amazing at uh, age 90, the vision he had for that institute. So my humble request to most of his uh, former students and uh, colleagues and friends and everyone here is uh, as a tribute to him, as a memory, as a celebration of his life, and as a respect to him. Uh, it would be a great thing if all of us join our hands to strengthen that institute in whatever way we can 
either donations or helping other people to donate, whichever way we can. I think uh, that institute, in my opinion, should remain um, very active and well-funded um, as a reflection of uh, Dr. Rao and his work, monumental work. And uh, I'm really, uh, I share with all of you uh, my love and affection for him, not only as a teacher, researcher, guide, uh, a role model, everything. Uh, and uh, fortunately, you know, it, it so happened, it was during the COVID time that I realized that uh, his birth centenary was coming up and uh, there was nothing happening. So I just asked, requested Professor Rao and Teja Rao for uh, permission to have a Zoom sessions with the, his former students. And they kindly agreed. And we had several Zoom sessions. And uh, even during COVID, he was in touch with most of his former students. And um, we also had his uh, birth centenary celebration. He participated. 470 people all over the world participated in that uh, Zoom session uh, for his birthday. And uh, we had even um, the uh, Country Road Take Me Home song uh, tuned to Kremer Rao Bound was uh, sung uh, to surprise him. And um, Dr. Teja Rao also helped in uh, locating uh, a professional singer singing that particular song. It was uh, a wonderful occasion. And uh, in order to celebrate uh, Dr. Rao's work, uh, let that be a part of it. And uh, that video is available, um, both with uh, Teja Rao and myself. And it is all also on the Facebook page of uh, Dr. C.R. Rao, which uh, Teja Rao and I have been uh, so far um, um, administering. Thank you very much for giving me your opportunity and my pronouns to Dr. Rao. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kishikma. Okay. Okay, so uh, next I would uh, call upon uh, Professor Ambad Vijay Kumar. Is he there? Vijay Hello. Yes, yes. Yes. Stay to yes. all of you. And thank you, Pradipta and the other organizers for permitting to say a few words about Professor C. R. Rao. My first and the only meeting with Professor C. R. Rao was in January 2007, when he came to Cochin to attend an international conference. Very unassumingly, he permitted to interview him for more than an hour, and based on which I wrote an article in Science India magazine in 2007. After that, uh, I had an opportunity to hear from Professor S.B. Rao at ISA Kolkata, and Professor K. R. Parsardi also, many stories about C. R. Rao, Professor Mahal Nobis, and many stalwarts of the Indian Statistical Institute. Later, recently in 2020, when he completed 100 years, I wrote an article about him in Malayalam language so that the students from Kerala residing in rural areas know about the great contribution of Professor C.R. Rao. This was done along with my student, Dr. Manju Menon, who is also attending this uh, session. I don't have much to say about Professor C.R. Rao, but to offer our humble pronouns to a very great soul. Thank you. Pradeepta, I have finished. Yeah, thank you. Uh, next, I will call upon uh, Professor Nandini Kandan. Is she online? Nandini. 
Yes, I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Um, I, this is, you know, for all of Professor Rao's students, you know, uh, it was indeed a privilege uh, to work with him. Uh, I'm just going to narrate a, sim a small incident. Uh, I was a master's student at Madras University many years ago when uh, Professor Rao came to give a talk at a UGC conference. Uh, you are Nandini. I think she has lost connection or something. She is actually in uh, Harakpur and she said they had uh, power cut or something, so she had, was having difficulty to join. But then she said, I can join, but now again, probably there is some problem. Call the next person if she joins, then we'll go. Okay, maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, I think I'll uh, now. Uh, is Inanity uh, back? Oh. Maybe then I'll uh, call upon uh, Urunabhu, uh, Urunabhu Goswami. Um, Professor Sierra actually helped me uh, enormously during my PhD time. Uh, uh, and uh, when I joined uh, uh, ISI, um, he actually uh, ignited a lot of discussion um, over email. Um, one, I will just present and end my talk. Uh, he just asked, uh, date is certainty. Let us take it as a statistical statement. But what I see that when I work, my whole body becomes a machine and it forgets <clears throat> the definition which the date gives. Today we got a minute by minute account from um, Dr. Sierra's daughter just now. And um, I always uh, hope this kind of luminary should be in the institute. Now I will listen what Professor Shankar Pal has written. So in our institute now, uh, Professor Parthapati Mujimdar and Professor Shankar Pal, they are the so they have to take on the role of guiding us uh, for a better ISI um, uh, tomorrow. So my pranam to uh, Dr. C. R. Rao. Uh, I will be helping uh, anybody who wants help uh, in uh, doing good for ISI. Thank you. Okay, uh, we have. Uh, Nandini is back. Nandini, are you back? I, I'm back, but I'm in Karakpur with very bad connection. I don't know if you can hear me, uh, but I'll just keep my video off. Yeah, if your video off phone. I, I just want to say, um, you know, for all of. Uh, so no, and this is, this is very bad connection. Yeah, uh, we cannot even hear. Yeah. It. Yeah.
yeah, I just want to say for all of us who are, you know, privileged to be his students, uh, he will live with us for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can. Okay. Uh, thank you, Nandini. I think uh, maybe some other time. Just the entries there, Anyway, let me uh, call upon uh, our next speaker from the audience again. Uh, Indrani Boshak, Indrani. Okay. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sia Rao's PhD student in University of Pittsburgh. I did my PhD under Dr. Rao from 1984 to 87. I am very privileged to be his PhD student. Not only that he was a very successful and eminent statistician. I learned so many things from him, not only the statistics, but things in life. Uh, I was again fortunate to join that uh, Zoom session on the occasion of his 100th birthday and had the privilege to talk to him. I told him that you are the best teacher I have ever had. And I follow your example in my classroom as a teacher, as I learned from him. I just had him as teacher in University of Pittsburgh, but I learned so many things from him, not only as a as the teacher, human being, researcher. He told me how to do independent research. And he was such a simple and down to art person, in spite of being such a great statistician in the world. He loved our daughter so much. And I can say that he invited us once in his, um, in his uh, house in uh, there and um, in State College. Uh, then I think in Pittsburgh only, and my daughter, no, I think in State College. I was not prepared to talk. I just now learned that I had the opportunity, privilege to talk. I think it was in State College I, when, I, when we went there. And he used to talk to my daughter in Bengali. And my daughter was just maybe three to four years old. And my daughter said, Oi, burota kere, kha -kha kore <laughs> And that moment, he started loving our daughter. And every time we met him in a conference anywhere, he used to ask very intelligent question to my daughter, like, what is the square root of 27? Tell me a number. My daughter was very intelligent. He told me it is between these two numbers. And he loved my daughter. And just a few years back, he sent us email inquiring about her. Please send me her picture. So he was such a down to earth person. I have never seen such a bright and such a well known, reputed statistician can be so much a person like him down to earth and such a simple person. He told me many things, what to do in my life. So 
I am very grateful to be his student and to know him in my life. And I pay my highest homage to him. And he will be always in my mind, in my heart, as my teacher in not only a statistics, in statistics for my whole life. I pay my highest homage to him. Thank you, Dr. Rao, what you did for me. Thank you. Okay, so we are uh, nearing the end of this program. So uh, before we end, uh, I would ask Priyanka to read out uh, a message of uh, message that we want to convey to share the Dr. Rao's family on our behalf. Dear Pijaswani and Virendra Rao and family, on behalf of the entire ISI community, we extend our heartfelt condolences to you on the demise of Professor C.R. Rao. Loss of a parent is always hard, even at 103. And when that parent is of the stature of C.R. Rao, it must be overwhelming. However, it was a life well lived. So rather than mourning his departure, let us celebrate the remarkable life and enduring legacy of a brilliant scientist who touched countless lives through his pioneering contributions. To quote C.R. Rao himself from his message at the beginning of his centenary year, he says, I was fortunate to have made some fundamental contributions to the field of statistics and see the impact of my work in furthering research. In my lifetime, I have seen statistics grow into a strong independent field of study based on mathematical and more recently computational tools. Its important, it's importance has spread across numerous areas such as business, economics, health and medicine, bank banking, management, physical, natural, and social sciences. He had he added with characteristic humility that his great greatest contribution to the field of statistics was to quote him again, the encouragement I provided to my PhD students, 51 of them, some of whom have made outstanding contributions to statistics. They have in turn produced six, 649 PhDs as of 2019, he said. This is a matter of pride to me. According to Mathematics Journal Genealogy Project, that number now stands at 784. He, um, for us at ISI, Dr. Rao, as he was fondly called in those days, was second only to Professor Mohanovish. He joined ISI in 1941 at the age of 20, and over the next 40 years, he worked at ISI in various positions. A research scholar at ISI at 23, a professor at the young age of 28, head of research and training, uh, research and training school, RTS, director of RTS, director of ISI, Jawaharlal Nehru professor and national professor. It was Dr. Rao after PCM who took ISI to the height it reached. During his tenure at ISI, Rao developed numerous courses in statistics, including the ISI flagship programs, BSTAT and NSTAT. He also initiated the PhD program in theoretical statistics and probability. Indeed, 32 of the 51 PhD students were from ISI. He was also instrumental in, set, in setting up the International Statistical Education Center, ISEC, and served as the chairman of its board from 1972 to 2016. Beyond his scholarly accomplishments, Professor Rao's humility, enthusiasm, and wit endeared him to all. During this time of remembrance and celebration, we stand by you and your family. Professor Thea Rao's brilliance will continue to inspire generations and his legacy will forever be a beacon of enlightenment in the world of statistics and beyond. With heartfelt condolences, the ISI community. Well, uh, to end this program and if the people who were there in the centenary uh, celebrations will remember, this, that program was not complete without Sudeshna singing. So today also, we will end with a song by Sudeshna Basu.
since almost yesterday that I stand for Dr. Rao's centenary celebration. <clears throat> and today I'm very grateful to the director of Indian Statistical Institute for including me in this August company to celebrate the life <clears throat> that was the legendary Dr. Rao's. And I extend my condolences to the family and I pay my homage to this music. Agunir Parashmani Sva Prani Ejiban Punna Karo Ejiban Punna Karo Ejiban Punna Karo Ejiban Punna Karo I thank everybody for joining in and uh, also everybody who are online. Thank you. And uh, the program ends here.